Hello everyone, welcome back to episode 3 of the Gimmick Studio 2 Advanced Tutorials. Um, yeah, my name is Rhys, and today what I want to cover is a alternative collision system, specifically for GameMaker. Um, now, most collision systems typically use in GameMaker a place meeting like function, and then they call a while loop to check if it's not meeting. Uh, increment it by a pixel until it finally meets like a solid. Now, there's one disadvantage to doing this method, and I have encountered it before. Um, occasionally, what will happen is if the actual speed is um, zero when it enters into the loop, um, it will attempt to increment the position by a position of zero, like, or a pixel of zero, and subsequently because of that you'll end up in this while loop where um, it will constantly end up by looping through this while loop and not break out of it, and subsequently because of that you, you'll crash again. Now, what I'm going to use in this tutorial as an alternative is a for loop. And a for loop is much better than a while loop in my opinion because you actually define when the endpoint is going to be as opposed to guessing where it will be. Now the advantage of doing it this way is that you can break out of that loop exactly when you want to. So um, yeah, that's the major advantage of doing it this way. Um, I am doing this tutorial in the context of a top-down game, however it is completely adaptable for a um, yeah, side-scrolling platforming game, um, providing that you make a couple of tweaks to it. So um, yeah, let's get straight into this. So um, the first thing I'm going to do, I've got the player event here, um, you can download this project actually from the Tinter web. I'll put a download to, link to it in the description. Um, and yeah, let's get into this. So um, I'm going to enlarge this for you guys just so you can see it a bit better and uh, we'll, we'll get right into it. Okay then, so um, yeah, if I go into the creative event of the object, we've got uh, K, K up, K down, K left, K right. Um, they're just the key inputs. Uh, you've also got direction X and direction Y. Uh, they determine the direction that the player is going to be moving in. Uh, and then X and Y speed. Um, so that is going to be like the final speed that's applied to the player. Um, so yeah, let's get into it. Go into the step event. It's going to be a rather short tutorial this because we've already built up most of the framework, but uh, let's get into it anyway. So the first thing you want to do is get the current direction of the player. So to do that, we need, literally just need to take the inputs and then um, yeah, do the magic subtraction math that we did before. So um, direction x and it equals uh, k underscore right uh, minus k underscore left. Uh, so that's yeah, that's going to take the right input key, which is a positive value, subtract the left. If you press in both down, it will equal zero. Uh, if you press in one or the other, it'll be one or negative one. Uh, same process again, but for the y, so direction y equals k underscore, let me think about this, down, minus, up. <laughs> and yeah, job's good then. So now we've got the type, like, direction that's applied to the player. Um, then we need to set the speed of the player relative to this direction. So all we need to do is get the x speed and then it equals, uh, we can basically say any speed we want here, so I'm going to say 5 um, and multiply it by direction x, uh, multiplied it again by the frame delta, again we're using delta time in this collision. Um, same process again as well, so we can just copy that, paste it, and that is going to be the y speed now. So y speed equals 5 times direction y, and that's all good. So, um, yeah, if I actually run the game now, we should be able to move about on the screen, but we won't actually... Oh, wait, there's one thing I'm missing, actually. 
before we do that, we just need to apply the x and the y to the place. So uh, x plus equal uh, x speed and y plus equal y speed. And yeah, now we should be able to put, well, run it. <laughs> so yeah, yeah, move to the left and the right, up and down, and it takes the like the sum of what we're pressing. So if I press both keys, it stops me moving completely, uh, both for up and down. Uh, but we won't have any collision yet, so we're about to do that now. All right then, yeah. So let's get into the collision. Um, yeah, the collision, there's one thing I actually want to point out about this. Um, the advantage of using the while loop is that you can have a speed that is a decimal number uh, under 1. So this value, 5, uh, this, can't, this like, cannot be anything less than 1. Because, actually I've done that wrong way around, yeah, there we go cannot be less than 1, um, and I'll explain that later on, but um, the way you can actually counteract this is to basically, uh, if it does become under 1, so say you've got like 0 0.9, like so, you can literally just seal that value, like so, and then that's actually going to automatically round that decimal up. Um, and then you could put like a check in here, like if it's less than one, seal it. Uh, but yeah, I just want to point that out. So um, yeah, let's get into the collision anyway. So the first thing I want to do is check if place meeting and then x plus x speed and then comma y plus y speed. Uh, comma, obj wall. So that's going to get the total amount uh, of the x value and the y value of a player and add uh, plus or minus x in what direction and plus or minus y in what direction because remember we're multiplying this by the direction here. So uh, then we can actually go about checking the x and the y collision. So um, yeah, it's going to be quite meaty this code, but um, yeah, I have tested it thoroughly and I also, in the video, I want to give a bit of quick credit to my good friend uh, John at Zor Shaders because uh, he actually helped me out with this code. Um, again, he's given me complete permission to use this in the tutorial, uh, so uh, big heads up to him. So um, yeah, he's he is amazing at this sort of stuff. <laughs> so um, right. Here we go. So I've got to write a for loop and then open that brace, close it off. And in this for loop, uh, I'm actually going to explain what the for loop does, but I'll write it out first. So we want there x equals 0, and bearing in mind that's capital X right there. Uh, so this is a temporary variable. Uh, then you want semicolon and space and then x is less than abs x speed uh, semicolon then you want x plus equal uh, minimum abs x speed I know this is a lot close bracket minus x 1 comma 1 close bracket so I know that's a lot right there um, but yeah, I'll, I'll explain this for a way. So, the x variable is temporary and it's only used in this for loop. So, once this for loop has finished, it will basically destroy this variable and it won't be used anymore. That's going to save us memory. Then, what it's going to do, it's basically going to start and initialize this variable at zero. So, for when it equals zero, uh, that's what the first section is. Then we're checking if x is less than the absolute value of x speed. So bear in mind x speed can be plus or minus. So what the abs function does, it removes the sign from our number so we only end up with a positive value. 
So then we're checking if x is less than x speed, uh, positive x speed that is, and then while it is it, while it is less than x speed, sorry, we're going to be incrementing by one. Now, why not just put one here? Well, there's a reason for that. What we actually want to do, we want to increment by one until we get to the last remainder of the decimal in the speed until we actually perfectly collide. And what this is actually doing, um, we're taking the minimum. So minimum can have like, as many arguments as you want, I believe up to 16. Um, and this is the first argument here, AVS x speed minus x, and then comma, I'll put that, a space around that, 1. So minimum takes the lowest possible value, bear in mind. And what we're actually going to be doing here is, say for example, to begin with, your x speed, uh, ignore this, I'm just doing it as an example, your x speed equals 5 or let's just say 5.45 uh, accelerated with delta time. To begin with, uh, x is equal to 0 in this for loop. So what we're going to be doing in, in this minimum here is taking, uh, well, we can actually imagine this as minimum 5.45 minus x. That's essentially what it's doing. And x um, is essentially equal to 1 a majority of the time. So it's going to iterate through this loop and add uh, 1 every single time unless we end up as a decimal. So if I put it into perspective, um, the first time the loop goes through, it's going to do 5.45 minus 0, which obviously equals 5.45. Um, but then, when it iterates through it again, it's going to add 1. So this is then going to become 5.45 minus 1, and that's going to equal 4.45. Now, obviously, 4.45 is still greater than 1. So we're only going to be using 1 here. But, until this reaches the end of the loop, so the actual integer value, like, rounded from x speed, uh, so we're going to do 5.45 minus 5, obviously that equals 0 0.45. Now that is less than 1. Now, on the very last incrementation, we're not actually adding 1 anymore, we're now adding this 0 0.45 value. And in doing that, that will mean that we'll get a perfect collision with the actual, like, um, the solid. Ignore my notification there. <laughs> uh, yeah, and that's a basis of what that for loop is doing. So, uh, we can get rid of that now. I just wanted to explain that as best as I could. So, um, now we actually want to check if place meeting... Uh, we don't actually need a bracket there. And then x plus, open bracket, x multiplied by direction x, close bracket, comma, y, lowercase y, that is for the object, obj wall. Open curly brace, close curly brace. So then, what this is actually doing, this x value can be a range from 0 to x speed, if that makes sense, but a positive incrementation of that, so we're removing the sign, bear in mind. That's why we're multiplying x by direction x here, because we actually want to uh, add the position relative of direction that the player is moving in. Then, we can do x plus equal, open bracket, capital X for the variable, multiplied by direction X, close bracket, plus minus direction, I'm pretty sure you can just do minus there, but makes a bit more sense, 
uh, close, yeah, close that off with a semicolon. one. And then, uh, x speed is equal to zero. And finally, break. Like so, that's going to break out of a for loop from there. So, what we're doing, essentially, once we've realised that, oh hey, uh, we're actually meeting with the object now, using this uh, x value, we're then going to increment the x position uh, by this x value, multiply by direction x, because we want to actually shift it in the player's direction that we're moving in, uh, and then plus negative direction x. Now, I'm, yeah, I'm pretty sure you can just do minus direction x here, but um, yeah, for clarity, I'm doing plus minus, because what we actually want to do here, we want to increment the player's position all the way to the solid, but then negative one pixel so they don't actually collide with it, if that makes sense. Uh, because we're actually, if we did it without the negative direction x here, uh, we'd actually be one pixel inside the solid, and we don't want to do that. So, um, that's what that's all about there. Now, I believe uh, that is the horizontal collision functional. Uh, so, if we run this, and hopefully it will work. Uh, oh, actually. Yeah, that's fine. Okay then, so here we go. Yeah, so we've got solid collision in both axes now. Now, the X collision, that's done. So, um, yeah, all we need to do now is the Y, and we can copy this code, and this is the beauty of it. All we need to do is replace a few values. So, uh, this is now capital Y instead of X, and then this is Y speed, uh, and then we actually want to just do X speed there. <laughs> That actually should be ABS there. <laughs> like that. Don't know how I managed to miss that. Alright then. Yeah, so, uh, and then that's Y speed. Direction Y. Uh, and then lowercase y, capital Y, lowercase y. Lowercase y, capital Y, capital Y, capital Y y speed there we go i believe uh that is everything so let's just double check over that uh, yeah oh actually one more there yeah and let's test it <laughs> all right then yeah so we can move up and down left and right. We collide perfectly, which is what we want. And then test the Y. Oh. Okay then, so we're jumping a bit there. What What's causing that? Oh. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Uh, yeah, we actually we just want to cut that X there. And then Y plus y direction y yeah so we're using the y coordinate in this place meeting here as opposed to the x sorry about that and this will definitely work yeah so we've got solid perfect collision in both x and y and we can fit through there and then we fit into the corners and then if i fit into that square there that is perfect collision guys so um I will provide a downward link to this project in the description, both before uh, I wrote the code and afterwards, so you can go and take a look at it yourself. Uh, but yeah, guys, I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope you found it informative, um, and this is a completely different collision system to anything that I've known. So, uh, as a final note, I just want to give a bit of credit to my good friend John over at Zor Shaders. He is a great guy. Uh, and yeah, don't forget to like this video if you found it informative. Uh, subscribe to my channel and I will catch you in the next one. Adios. <laughs>